Hey, Barry here from Over 50 Golf. I want to come on here today and I want to show you a really cool, simple drill you can use to help you with your body pivot. It'll give you a lot more consistency in your swing, make it a lot easier to swing the golf club effectively and hit the ball in the center of the golf club every time. And it doesn't involve much other than uh, a pencil, you know, or, or I've got a little paintbrush here. We, and we use that as a guide to help us with our body motion. So I'll just demonstrate that. see with a lot of golfers on the swing of the golf club you know they got their heads down too much they got this chin dropping down or, or they're kind of hunched over with their upper body here like that and that makes it really hard to make a really good free shoulder turn and body pivot back and let your arms swing with your body and what this golfer will do when they're down like this a couple things tend to happen they either you know kind of slide to get the club back because they got their head down so low and they're restricting their shoulder so it's difficult to make a pivot prop, you know, they can't really make a very good pivot action when they're, when they're doing that. Or they'll raise their arms up in front of their head, you know, because they can't turn. So they're gonna lift their, they're gonna lift their arms up because they can't turn, they can't turn their shoulders. So with the pencil drill that George Zunson talked about, put this in your mouth. And when you set up, you don't want it to touch your shoulders. So it helps you to set up with your head up, up a little bit more and get your shoulders to relax and sit in a little more and better posture, which makes it easier to turn. So I'll just demonstrate. Here. The other thing it does too, it gives you a reference for how you're turning on the backswing. So, if you're a person, let's say, you know, you have a lot of drift, maybe your, heads are, your friends are telling you, oh, you're always moving your head, you're always moving your head. Well, your head motion is a symptom of what? How your body's moving. So if you're getting a lot of, say, drift and slide on the backswing, or, or maybe, you know, you're just kind of sliding over here and you're over twisting, you can see what happens when I do that. You can see where the pencil's gone. You can see where the marker's gone. It's gone way over to the right here, I'm over here. What I want, when I'm swinging back, It's not gonna to move too much. Yeah, it's not gonna be super still. You're not a robot. You know, there's gonna be some up and down and lateral motion, but it stays localized in front. So it gives you a reference for how you're moving going back. And a lot of golfers will struggle with that separation between upper and lower body because they're sliding around too much. And when you're sliding, you're not turning. So we use this as a guide, as a reference for when we're turning, it's staying somewhat centered in front of us. and that gives us an idea that we're starting to turn a little bit better back and through the golf ball. And then the other part of that, you'll see we're coming forward. As I rotate through, upper body starts to rotate and swivel forward, and guess what? You're gonna be pointing forward. So you're, so you're here, right? Turn back, turn through, and forward. So give it a try. Really cool, simple drill. Just helps give you a reference for the pattern of motion in your golf swing. You'll find it'll help you turn a little bit better and you'll hit the ball a little bit more consistently.